G'day guys. Uh, today's project I'm going to be making an AC line conditioner or filter. I have a few devices that need to have uh, very clean AC 240 volts or 230 volts um, power um, to be operating more efficiently and um, more correctly. One of them is my scales uh, for measuring powder for my reloading. And the other one uh, I'm going to be using it for as well is for powering up my guitar amp and pedals uh, for better audio. So um, I hope you enjoy this. Um, I haven't done this before, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, when I looked in the shop to see um, what I could buy them for, they go for just over 300 bucks New Zealand. Um, and I figured uh, once I crunched the numbers that I could actually build uh, one myself for a third of that cost. So, um, yeah, anyway, here goes. I've selected a uh, steel enclosure box for my project. Um, very sturdy, got that from JCAR. Um, comes apart in two pieces. And you'll see um, what I've done already. I've already started marking out where I want my um, power plug to go. Um, it's a really handy idea when you're marking things out like this to use um, tape. Um, obviously with a black paint like this one has, it's going to be quite hard to actually see um, where your marks are. And um, the other thing is of course if you make a mistake, you can just peel the tape off and uh, start again. And you haven't marked up your nice project box. So the basic gist of it is I want the PowerPoint plug to go on the top here. And on the back, that's where I'm going to put my IEC connector. It's got a 10 amp fuse built in with a uh, switch on the side. Um, at the very least, you need to have um, a fuse protector on there. Um, 10 amps is pretty much the standard for what most devices um, will be protected for. You know, your multi boxes, all those kind of things. And I just thought I'd go the extra mile and uh, have one with a switch in it as well. So the next thing I need to do is um, I've marked the layout of that already and my line filter just turned up in the mail today which I was pretty stoked about. I thought I was going to have to wait till next week uh, but I think what I will have to do because it's a bit bigger than I thought it was going to be um, is I was hoping to have it that way but I think that's going to be a bit too tight when I have my little connectors on the side here um, that's definitely not going to allow enough room for the wires to go in there as well so um, I'm going to have to have it this way if my IEC connector is here that will allow some nice room for the wires to sort of come out snake around the back here and then plug in the back and that oh yeah even that's pretty tight but we'll be able to make it fit in there even that up and then with the plug that we see here um, the wires actually come in on the left hand side here as well so that actually works out pretty good um, so that when the cables are here they're not going to be Hampered by the line filter, which will probably sit about. I measured it up, it's going to be about at least 5mm from the bottom of, of here, and also my, um, my back plate, which is going to that's basically just so my screws can screw into it, and it will go there on the back of the project box, like so.
Well, that's turned out pretty good. Happy with that. Nice and centered. Square. So I've soldered all of uh, these connections onto here. Um, ideally I would have had um, the right size spade connectors for those, but I um, didn't have any handy, so I um, thought I might as well just solder it. Um, I can easily just poke all these through the hole in the back of here, which I'm going to do now. You'll see also that I've soldered the metal oxide barrister across um, in parallel with, with the load across the um, live and the neutral. That's to protect against any uh, surges. Um, so that is rated, uh, I think that was 50 amps that was rated to. Um, and it's also got a thermal cutout in it too. So if it gets too hot instead of catching on fire, it will um, just disconnect itself. But in that time, it should have conducted enough amps to blow that 10 amp fuse. Um, so the fuse should always be the weakest link in the circuit, um, so that um, everything else is protected. But the Verista is there to make sure that the fuse actually blows instead of the, um, the filter or whatever's plugged into the line conditioner. Um, in case of a power surge. Right, so that all clips into there nicely, looking good. Just check with the multimeter. Make sure that we have got everything shorted. I'm going to check from Earth. Everything else, no, there's no shorts there, that's good. Turn the switch off between neutral and positive, no, nothing there. Check between uh, the live positive and the switch side of live, there's nothing there, turn the switch on, now we have connecting. Right to here as well, and here and there, one ohm, just under one ohm, that's pretty good, check between there and there. as well, in between and there. And one arm as 
Ah. Pretty much got the um, wire rigged where I want it to go. Um, as you can see, I've just used normal house cable that I've stripped um, out of the sheath and used that. It's um, probably a bit of overkill, but it's what I had lying around, so I just use that. Um, just around the edges there, it was getting pretty close to the metal, so I thought, hey, why not? So I just uh, cut off a little bit of the stripped sheath um, and just cable tied it around the um, electrical cables there just to make absolutely sure it wasn't going to rub against the um, metal housing and cause an issue. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty much ready to um, wire the front plug on. see how she looks at the final product. Thanks for watching everyone. As usual, I'll leave links for the items I used in the description below. If you think I've earned it, hit that like button, share and subscribe. I'll do my best to answer your questions, so feel free to leave a comment as well. Also, if you're feeling generous, there's a link to buy me a coffee. A couple of bucks really does help with the running of this channel and bringing you new content. Thank you so much, I really appreciate your support. Bye for now, and I'll see you next time.